So we've talked about uh, vectors, but in order to do um, algebra on vectors, you need to have a coordinate system. So the standard coordinate system is called Cartesian coordinates. It's the simplest coordinate system to use. Um, in that coordinate system, you have uh, in three dimensions, you have uh, axes that are mutually perpendicular. So on a two-dimensional board, you can draw it like this. This will be the x direction, this will be the y direction, and this will be the z direction. Uh, if we have a vector, we can draw a vector with the um, base at the origin. So here's a vector. Um, we want to know what point, what, what is it pointing to? This point here, this is our vector A, and we can call this point here A1, comma, A2, comma, A3, right? What that means is that if we drop this uh, point onto the uh, xy plane and then go over to the x-axis, go over to the y-axis, then um, this height here is A3, right? This is what our A3 is, the height above the xy plane. This length here is uh, A2, and this length here is A1. Okay, so now um, we have a vector A. When you put the base at the origin, it points to A1, A2, A3. Remember, a vector doesn't have any particular location in space, so how do we write this vector A? We use uh, what are called unit vectors. So we put our unit vectors, I show you them here. These are unit vectors, that means they have a length of one, that point in the direction of the three axes. So the one that points in the direction of the x-axis is given the name of i. The one that points in the direction of the y-axis is given the name of j. And the one that points in the direction of the z-axis is given the name of k. i, j, and k are the unit vectors. It actually originates from quaternions, if you, know, if you ever heard that word before. So um, how do we write a vector? We write the vector a then as the x component, a1 times i, plus the y component, a2 times j plus the z component, a3 times k. Okay? So that's the uh, coordinate representation of uh, an arbitrary vector a. So how do you add vectors using uh, Cartesian coordinates? Well, let's say we have a b vector of the same type, so we want to add a plus b then we would add the components. So it would be a1 plus b1 times i plus a2 plus b2 times j plus a3 plus b3 times k. Okay, so very simple to do vector addition when you have the vectors, when you have the components of a vector. What about um, scalar multiplication? So we can have a k, a scalar, times a vector. All it, you do then is you multiply each component by k. So we would have uh, k times a1 times i plus k times a2 times j plus k times a3 times the unit vector k. So here k is a scalar. This k here is the unit vector, so don't be um, confused with that notation. Sorry, I <laughs> should have chosen a different constant. Okay, um, one other thing we should know. What is the length of a vector? So the length of the vector is represented by this absolute value sign. This is the length of a. 
right? Um, if you use Pythagorean theorem in three-dimensional space, uh, this would be a one squared plus a two squared plus a three squared, and then the square root, okay? So that would be the length of a vector. Okay, um, there's two vectors uh, that are uh, widely used once you have a coordinate system. Uh, one vector is called the uh, position vector. The position vector locates a point in space. So if you have some point x, y, z, the position vector, when you place the tail at the origin, then locates that point uh, in space, points to that point. So we're going to call that vector in general, we're going to call the position vector r, and that will simply be x, i plus y, j plus z, k. So that locates the point x, y, z in space. Uh, in addition to the uh, position vector, we have something that's called the uh, displacement vector. Um, so let me draw a uh, diagram here. If we have um, our axis, right, if we have uh, two vectors, so two position vectors, say one here and one here, Maybe uh, this one is uh, R1, and this one is R2. Um, you might want to know what is the vector pointing uh, from one of these vectors to the other one. So let's say uh, R2 minus R1 would be this vector here is uh, R2 minus R1. So R2 minus R1 is called a displacement vector. So let me write that here, um, displacement vector. And uh, can be very useful because, um, say you have a physical problem, maybe you have two masses one at position R1, the other at position R2. The force between the masses depends on the, the uh, vector that's pointing from one mass to another mass. So you need to use the displacement vector. The uh, displacement vector is uh, simple to write. So R2 minus R1, right, will just be x2 minus x1 times i plus y2 minus y1 times j plus z2 minus z1 times k. Okay? So let me uh, review what I've talked about. We're talking about Cartesian coordinates, the standard x, y, z coordinate system. I introduced unit vectors, i, j, and k, so that we can write a vector a in terms of its coordinates, a1 and a2 and a3, as a1i plus a2j plus a3k. Then you can add two vectors by adding their components. Uh, a1, a2, a3 are called the components of a, so we can add their components. We can multiply a vector by a scalar by multiplying the components by the scalar. Uh, furthermore, the length of the vector is just the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. I also introduced two important vectors. One is called the position vector. Uh, it locates a point in space. And one is called the displacement vector which is the uh, difference between uh, two position vectors. That gives you the vector uh, pointing from the head of one of the uh, position vectors to the head of the other one. Very useful in many, many uh, physical problems. Okay, I'm Jeff Chasnoff. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.